Hello everybody, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Spaced Out Edition, on our DC Colony. Why is there a yellow alert, you say? Well, uh, we're just doing a little bit of encouragement to come and bring some coal <clears throat> and some algae to this thing so that we can shoot it off into space to the Abundista asteroid that eventually we're going to go drop a dupe on. Um, so that is the purpose. So <clears throat> we got a bunch of coal in different places. Uh, we just need to send it over um, and then a bunch of algae in different places to send it over. We only need a, maybe one or two of these shots to go off right now. And then that way we're done with that. So for some reason, we haven't brought anything that I've seen. <clears throat> So we're gonna encourage them, but it looks like our encouragement is really not... Oh no, he's carrying stuff, right? You're gonna... No, you're not. Okay, never mind, you're going somewhere else. I don't, don't know where. <laughs> so, maybe... Alright. Let's... Let's, 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 you know, eventually we're going to want to send other things, right? <clears throat> so maybe if we're smarter, we do this. I know. Right? So that instead of them running... Tremendous distance. What if we just bring this right into the base? To our section here where we're dumping everything in the world. Because we are. There we go. See, it looks like we can go straight down this uh, right here. Yeah. I know. We, I I will admit instantly that our shipping lines are probably not the best right now as far as organization within the base, but it is what it is, right? It works. <laughs> so we'll just do that, and then we'll tell this one to load it here from inside the base, and then this thing right here, uh, we'll just come down here and put algae on it. Um, and then some consumable ore, some coal, and we'll stick it on a nine, and they'll bring some over, if it's not already in the base. So, voila, problem, problem taken care of, right? Okay, let's check Samir Roni and make sure we've got food coming in. Just, we've got enough. It's barely coming in, but it's enough. All right. Um, you guys are working on this. Uh, don't quite have all of this finished. This will be able to get to the outside, so I'm going to go ahead and put those in. And hopefully you don't trap yourself, but we're going to go ahead and do that. Actually, you know, we can just do this because we have this gap here. There. Problem solved. If we ever need to get in there, you know, that's the way to do it, right? Yeah. Smart, right? Okay, now, <clears throat> the one thing that we do need to do next is we need to hook up our cooling system. Alright, so we're going to do it right here. Why didn't we put power a power outlet on this side. Let's 
let's start with the power because unfortunately this one we're gonna have to do a vacuum out of all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna cancel that we're gonna put power there And then we're gonna put power over here, right? So we're just gonna we're gonna do this. How are we gonna do it? What, which way do we want to do it? We want it like this. Boom, boom. No, whoops. <laughs> Cancel. Cancel. No, we, we don't want it like that. All right. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. So we're going to start here. We're going to go blah, 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 blah. But not quite like blah, 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 blah. But we're going to do it. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. We need power to come into a room. We're going to do it here. And then, ah, there we go. That's the way we're going to say. I just built one of these. Why can't I think of how I want to put it together? <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Utility. Nope, 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 nope. made out of the wrong stuff utility steel there we go how big is the thing yeah this is fine could be like that And then we're just going to do that, which will get our door in, and we will do that across there, and that up like that. Okay, cool. <clears throat> now, we can put in all of our goodies, which means this needs to change a little bit here. Excuse me, have to sneeze. Mm. Okay, so this one we want to go ahead and fix. So we're going to do that first. We're going to get this. We'll do that. Which way do we have this going already? Let me see. It's coming this way, so we need to go up. Up. And up. Doop and doop. No, we, we put this in the wrong spot. Cancel. Why did we put that in the wrong spot? When will you see we are not intelligent? That is why. Sometimes we are just not intelligent enough to do things the right way. But that's all right. That's why we can redo it the wrong way. Ha ha. All right, cool. All right, so this one is just going to come straight over here and down there. That is our cooling. Ideally, I'd like it to go through this first. But it doesn't. Hey, we're going to have to bring in more, the more steel over here that hasn't been delivered yet, but we'll get that. Um, okay, 
Eight. That like that. This like this. And like that. This. Like that. This is gonna come up here. Let me see, we will put it right here. Okay, very good, very good. And we will hook it up. That's gonna go like that. And like that. And all we have to do is put in this vent. Does this have to be out of steel? I've always built them out of steel. I don't know if it, I know these things can overheat. So I'm gonna just say yes. Someone else can correct me and say, no, they do not. Now this doesn't have to be. All right, we'll do that. And we'll do our automation wire like that. Um, power is fine, we're hooked up. Uh, we can cancel this last little one. We don't need that. I think that's it, right? We're good. That is the cooling loop. <clears throat> cool. All right. Awesome. Done. Taken care of. Solved. Problem solved. We're good. What do we got? Probably need to check on our uh, skills here. Like Wally West. You could use some carrion. Static. You can use some carrion. <clears throat> I don't think anybody else needs anything. Yep, we're good. Cool. Perfect. All right. Um, Food-wise, we're doing a lot better. Look at this barbecue. We still got some gristleberry coming through, which technically shouldn't happen. Oh, wait. Yes, it does. Yes, we duh. We want gristleberry because gristleberry is used in stuffed, stuffed mushrooms. That's right, or stuffed berry. The problem is, is while we have lots of gristleberry, we have no pinch of pepper nuts. All right. So while the other colony is doing all of that wonderful good stuff, uh, <coughs> and this we need to put on some coal as well as algae. Okay, we'll stick that on a nine. Looks like we delivered the coal to here. So, um, we'll take that off and they can send some coal over. We'll put this on a sweep only command and I'll take this coal right here and I'll sweep it. That at least gets the coal over there. 20 tons of it. All right, so as I was saying, what we need to do over here is figure out how do we feed these things with polluted water? Well, we use our toilets. Yep, because right now it's just going through this, this coming up here, going through this. No, no, that's the, where's our toilet water going? Our toilet water is coming over here and just being... Ah, okay, okay, okay. Let's, um... There, we're going to pause it. Just, yep, group up. We're going to do some changes here. We need... Toilet water. Now, where does this one come from? Somewhere down there. We're going to do that. Uh, we'll split it between the two, but we're going to start feeding these right here. All right. So, excellent. So let's just get that going, and we've got some toilet water all ready to put in it. Perfect. What do you guys need? Oh, yeah, you need the atmosphere of the chlorine, which we do have a, a vent right here, but we're not making medicine, so it's like, you know, we, we don't need to bother with this right now. <laughs> Literally, we don't need to bother with it. All right, look at that. We got a <coughs> Sorry. I don't mean to cough into the mic. It just happens all of a sudden. Um, 
Let's take and get a bunch more of this steel. Over to the other colony. Um, what are we sending over? Technically, we don't have to send the coal anymore. I see. They're delivering coal to here. Okay, okay, I get it. Let's change it. Okay, so I still got steel selected. I don't need iron. I can take that off. Alright, it is a sweep only, so it's not going to hurt anything. But because we were sweeping the coal, they were delivering it here instead of to the the thing up here. So this is ready to go. It's ready to shoot. But we have nothing in it because we haven't delivered anything. Okay, but we'll fix that no time at all. All we have to do is stick some coal in this thing. Can we stick coal in here? We've got it on, right? We've got this on coal? We do. What happens if we just here? Let's do this. Will you guys put it in? Uh, no. You're putting it in the storage bins, but you're not putting it in the thing. I'm curious. Is it we need to do this? If we do this, will you pick it up? I'm just curious here. Sometimes getting them to do what you want them to do is like a never-ending job. <clears throat> so it's not... If all else fails. Put in a silly thing to say, here, you guys can't do it. Oh, of course, this is in the way. We, You know what? Here, we'll move this thing. We'll just move it over one for when we need it. We're not using it right now. We're not traveling through space, so. So, no problem. Alright. Let's stick that there. That should be on a power wire already. Oh, nope. Okay, well, we'll do that. Okay. Boom. Okay, what's this thing got in it? Did we. Oh, oops. Yes. Look at that, we got algae in here, so... Perfect. All we have to do is build this and it'll send it up. Problem solved, see? Sometimes, you just gotta automate it for the dupes because it's too hard for them to pick this up and put it into this. What can I say? <laughs> now they... Now they're doing it, see? They're just sticking it in there and we've also finally automated this with with fossil and stuff now so problem solved <laughs> um, we will ship a bunch of loads over to the other location so there we go problem is solved <laughs> all right and then as far as this these are all growing because this problem is solved as well um, we're pumping a bunch into here um, we do need to ensure that we are backfilling this. Um, we got a little bit of water in here, so I'm I was just kind of letting it go through, but we're going to go ahead and hook that back up, and then that way we split the split the polluted water between the two, but this should continue to grow now. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're moving forward. Alright, how are we doing over here, guys? Oh, we're building all kinds of things. Look at this. Good job. Um, I do have one problem, though. After it saves. I don't think I can fit this in temporarily. If I 
build that first. So what we're going to have to do is stick that there. Don't ask me why I made it out of steel. I just did. And that so that we can turn this into a vacuum. So we're just going to do that so that we can take care of it. Right? And then temporarily, too, we got to get power to it. So there. Problem solved. <laughs> All right, otherwise, we're just building up everything else so that we can store materials, um, all that kind of good, good stuff. Yep. So you guys are doing fine. And we've got enough steel over here now that I can put in the vent before I forget about it. Because you know I will. There you go. Vent taken care of. Once this is up and running, we can start deconstructing stuff over here and realigning this <clears throat> so that we can do the same thing. Basically, we're going to take this same model and put it over here, but we're going to, instead of pumping this um, natural gas to the colony, we're just going to do this same setup, but it'll be some natural gas generators. Um, it won't be as active, but we'll prioritize it over this so that we just use it up um, and then of course we'll still just burn off this stuff as needed so you know once that is all done we will probably look at making some small changes in the little base um, because no matter what we will always have to have one dupe here even when we completely finish everything because someone is going to have to take care of these oil wells. Uh, we don't need the salt stuff here because if this stuff should be self-sufficient to where we're just taking the polluted water, turning it into fresh water, pumping it into the oil wells, taking the crude oil out, bringing back in petroleum, which makes the polluted water. So this should be a self-sufficient system outside of occasionally maybe bringing in some more sand. That would be the only thing, right? Um, and even that in the future, we could maybe automate delivery. So all we'll need to do is release the pressure on four oil wells and live a life of luxury in a nice little base that's better than this one. What else are they gonna do, right? We'd only need one person here eventually then. Cool. Um, speaking of which, I've been ignoring this and I, I, I noticed it and I went, oh, we might want to come take all this out <laughs> so that we can, we can get it activated again. Um, yeah, not quite sure what happened. <clears throat> Our blaster, though, got entombed, and so he couldn't blast anything, and, and maybe it happened before we had the blast shot. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. We'll come, we'll come dig all this. Diggy. There we go. All right, so they'll, they'll come do that in a moment. Not a problem. All right, cool. Well, that completes this episode. I'm very pleased with where we're going across the board and the recovery that we've had from a food perspective, from getting um, some more self-sufficiency, and especially from the water situation. Um, you know, that was definitely a concern. We can actually dump some more out here. So that it turns. Now, you guys aren't going to just stick it in, are you? Oh. You are. Okay, well. Okay. Here I thought I was going to be able to melt. It would. I'd get a bunch more and we'd melt it, but I guess not. Here. We'll do this anyways. Give them something to do since they seem to have nothing else to do. We're not even building it on a high priority, so... <laughs> We'll let them do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this back on coal consumable ore. There we go. 
it'll pick up all the extra there. Alright. And then we probably want to get another suit or two over to the other colony. Just to make sure that they have it. Who's stressed? Power girl? Why are you stressed? Uh, otherwise, these guys should all be doing well. How many do we got in this room? We got four, so we can actually go ahead and take you guys and get them into here so that we can make more sucrose. So far, I mean, we have no shortage of sucrose. We're doing quite good. We got 16 kilograms right here of sucrose. And then we've got the nine kilograms here of sucrose. So, I mean, we're doing good. All we have to do is, you know, make take care of our grubs. And, and they're going to be self-sufficient where they pop out a an egg like this. And we're good to go. In fact, we don't even... We can probably take... Where is it? The critter egg. That's a grub fruit seed. Why did we get down to seeds? We want critter eggs. That's up at the top. Duh. Oh, we're not even picking up the critter eggs. Okay. Right, I, for some reason, I thought I was picking up critter eggs, but that's not... All right, well, we got that. We're not growing any of this, and I'm not worried about it yet, but we'll get that taken care of as well soon, um, and we'll go from there. But anyways, thanks for joining me, and take care.